Hi guys, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Homeschooled Academy. Today I have a video sharing what we have put together for our wild animal theme. And in that wild animal theme we talk about savannah and um, uh, safari, zoo, and circus. So I've got a couple of trays here for Play-Doh. And I caught these lion and monkey um, cookie cutters on sale at Michael's at the end of last year down from 99 cents to 70, uh, 27 cents for each one so I always look out for Clarence Isle items and this is a Melissa and Doug set of magnets on a magnetic uh, metal cookie tray this is Melissa and Doug lacing cards that I've picked out of the set and then again Melissa and Doug train circus train alphabet blocks now they have the letter and the name of the uh, word on the back and then they can also be stood up these are wooden so they can also be built with and uh, or they can be laced. I put a little uh, bead on the end and tie it on the end of the lace to keep them from falling off. This is a Melissa and Doug set of 12 piece puzzles. There's four puzzles. A tiger, a lion, an elephant, and a zebra. I've put together the uh, lion there for you. I've got three Melissa and Doug puzzles here. This sound puzzle with pegs was given to me from a daycare parent. And then this one, I think I might have gotten this one. Not for sure. And I know I got this one. Then this one showcases the animal's different um, coats or skin. Now I have another video of um, items that I had done in a shopping haul that a lot of these will look familiar. So these sets of paper masks, I bought two sets. I found these in the party section at Walmart. It comes with, <clears throat> excuse me, three tigers, three lions, and two bears. And we're going to be saving the bears back for when we do a bear theme. I've put together uh, all of my wild animal themed stickers I store our stickers in a um, sheet protector and that way I can put it in and save them in my themed binder and that way I don't have to be rummaging through our sticker drawer every time I'm doing a particular theme so these are just sticker stickers that I've put together over the years and a lot of times I look at our local dollar store dollar tree for our stickers and that's the most economical so here's a variety of them and we will use this for an art activity and this is really great for the toddlers this is good for the small hand muscles writing skills and strengthen those hand muscles. Like I said, I keep them in a sheet protector and that way I keep them in my binder. So at our local dollar store or Dollar Tree, I found a couple of packs of wooden cutout shapes that the children of all ages can, um, from toddler on up, can paint. So I've got elephants, lions, and gorillas here. Okay. I found this book here at the dollar store has two stories in it and I will be fun focusing on orange and yellow colors this week. For art I still have to get online and print off some printable uh, worksheets that will have probably the letter I try to go for a letter and the word so I'll put like maybe L for lion, M for monkey, and a search, T for tiger. And I'll print out various um, coloring pages that are simple. 
So I hope you like these ideas and I hope this gives you some inspiration on how to put together your themes. I'm really excited I will about these masks that I found. Uh, we'll do this on the last day and um, sort of towards the end of the day so they can take them home. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these ideas. Take a look at our toys that we have associated with this theme. I'll link that video at the end here and in the description as well. So stay tuned. Check out our other videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check out my Apple Tree Home Daycare Facebook page. And that's where I post most of my stuff. Sometimes I post on Instagram and I have great Pinterest ideas so and boards. So go ahead and check those out too. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you do. Thanks. Bye.